What's good people, welcome back to another video. This time we are checking out a new app and it's called Venex Video. Now, this is not exactly a new app and I've been actually using it for around six months, but they recently got a uh, new update, a 2.0 update, which changes a lot of things and I wanted to check it out. Now, this video is sponsored by Venex Video, but I've been using it for around six months and I absolutely love this application. So I can vouch for this. And if you have watched my videos before, I have used this exact app's help to make some of those videos better. So first of all, it is a image and video AI upscaling tool, which is really good. Now, after this 2.0 update, they changed a lot of things. So I'll also show you a couple of these new features that they have to offer. So first of all, they have image AI, which is what I primarily use. I upscale a lot of anime, non-anime and variety of pictures for my YouTube videos. And that is the feature that I use this primarily for. So mainly what I use it for is to upscale really low quality anime images, which I'm using for my videos or like logos, for example, most of the time are really low quality and hard to find. And if I do find a really low quality one, I use this app to make it better. Now they do also offer other features like a video converter, uh, which you can use to convert your file formats. And now downloader is not something I'm gonna touch on because YouTube hates it. And the other one is recorder, which, which you can use to record your screen. Now let's touch on image AI, which is a feature I use primarily. So it's pretty easy to use. If you press on it, you get to this menu. And here we have a couple of options we can change. Now, primarily we have the GPU and the deinterlacing option. Now GPU, whatever is your uh, powerful GPU or dedicated GPU is the one you should select, of course. And deinterlacing for anime, just put it on auto. It doesn't really matter. If you press on here, you can select the image that you want. So for me, what I'm going to do is I have a couple of screenshots that I've taken from the animes that I watched. I'll just kind of give you a uh, demo on what's going to look like. A anime that I've been recently watching is, of course, Mushoku Tensei. It recently finished. Amazing anime. Now, Mushoku Tensei usually has a softer art style. And here I'm going to show you how you can make it really sharp and nice looking. Now, first of all, here on the left side, we have a image comparison. Now we have two types of it. Now this is a full on comparison, like full frame to frame. Uh, but the one I recommend is this one, which is a slider, which you can slide around and see uh, how the image looks after it's been upscaled. We also have a zoom option here, which you can zoom in and you can see the difference right here. And it looks really good. Now, with their new update, they changed a couple of stuff and mainly it's the AI model. They completely changed their AI models and you can select it from here. Now, their new two AI models are Gen Detail V2 and Real Smooth V2. Now, Real Smooth V2 is the one that we should be using for anime. If you're upscaling a real life image, Gen Detail V2 is the one you should be using. But as for us, we're going to be using real detail sorry real smooth v2 now what real smooth v2 is going to do is it's better for stuff that's generally smoother and that's anime now anime really does not need any kind of details or like it's not really altering any kind of digital noise right and whatever noise that anime adds is totally for artistic purposes so real smooth v2 uh, generally kind of tries to keep that noise and like it understands what anime is and uh, you can better upscale animes using real smooth v2 and this is the model they recommend now under that we have an option for scaling uh, which is the resolution that you need on your final output. Uh, you can go two times, three times, and four times. Now, because this is a 1080p image, of course, two times is gonna be 3840 by 2160, also 4K. You can also go ridiculously high resolution here, which is 4320. Now, after the model has loaded, as you can see, this is how the difference is gonna be. Now under that, we have another option called resolution where you can select the exact 
resolution. If you don't want to scale like two times, three times, uh, you can also use the resolution option here to kind of uh, get what you need. Now, there is also an enhanced image option if you just need a little bit of uh, enhancement without kind of changing any kind of resolution. Uh, that's also a good option. Now, that's pretty much it for the image scaling. You can, of course, export it and you can change your image format and your image quality, which I think for most people should be at 100%. And you can also change your output folder if you need that and just press on run and it'll just upscale your image. Now as for images, it's probably gonna take like 10 seconds for, I think for most people, it shouldn't take a longer than like 30 seconds if you have uh, like a bare minimum GPU. And even if you have a really bad GPU, I don't think it's gonna take more than a minute or so. Yeah, that's pretty much about the image. Now we're gonna get into the bigger boy, which is Video AI. Now, video AI is, of course, going to be a little bit harder. What we have here is pretty much the same layout, but of course, we're going to be doing it on a video. And video, in general, is, of course, harder to upscale. So we're going to get into that. Just like the image, we're going to press on here and we're going to select a video. And uh, here for me, it's going to be, I'm going to select. Uh, now, this is a uh, clip I got from Sakugaboru. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference of before and after upscale. Now, this is a pretty low quality uh, video, I believe. Yeah, it's a 480p video and it's been upscaled to 960p. Now, as far as the AI models go, of course, we have Real Smooth and Real Gen V2. So we're just going to go with the Real Smooth one, uh, which makes the entire thing a little bit better. Now here we have high quality mode and fast mode. Now fast mode is better if you just need the anime to look a little bit better, but without like all the anti-aliasing and stuff. I'll show you how it looks. It's gonna look worse, but like when you zoom out, it isn't that bad. Like it's not gonna be as bad as this, as long as you like increase your resolution. But with high quality mode, it's gonna look much better. It's gonna be better anti-aliased and everything. If I scale it to 19, like it's a re weird resolution right here and I understand that, but that's just because the base video resolution is kind of weird. But if you want, you can of course do it in a container using the resolution option. You can do 4K and it's going to do exact 4K match here, which is also fine if you are fine with that, of course. Now under that, there is an option called uh, enhanced video which is exactly the same as I talked about before. If you need that slight little boost without going overboard, it's gonna be the way to go because it's gonna uh, render the video much faster. Now, under that, we have the frame interpolation feature, which is not a feature that I would touch if I'm using it for anime. I will never interpolate anime. It's a sin and it's not something I believe you should be doing, but if you really want it, you do have that option. Now, stabilization option is also something I wouldn't use on anime, of course, because it's not something you should be doing, but if you want to use it on real life footage, go ahead. I think it's a great option. And that's pretty much it for the video. Export times, I know a lot of people are not really happy with it, but long story short, it's gonna take some time. Now, it depends on your GPU, and if you have a real powerful GPU, it's going to be faster, but if you have like a mid range GPU, it's still going to take some time. So I recommend just putting it on and just uh, going away for a couple of minutes uh, or maybe an hour. Uh, it depends really. Like if you're going to do an entire episode, like 23, 24 minute episode, it's going to take some time. There's no way about it. You're encoding and you're upscaling an entire anime. So just keep that in mind. Now here we have export settings, which comes with all like your basic stuff. Most of the time you don't need to touch it. And uh, this GOP here is your frame rate. Just if you need a 30 FPS container, go ahead. 60 FPS, go ahead. This is 24 here because my base uh, video is 24 FPS. And also your quality level does dictate your render times. Uh, if you want faster render you can go low quality if you need the best quality 
go the highest and also you can uh, cut your video here for like if you need your video only to be like a small part if you want like so uh, like share a small clip or something and uh, like for example if you need a uh, feet you can select feet right here and uh, share only feet upscale feet here you go and uh, select your output folder and uh, press on run that's pretty much there is to it this is a great software as i said i can watch for it i've been using it for a long time a lot of my videos have been possible thanks to the next video and with their new update they changed a lot of stuff they uh, made it much much better and uh yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching i'll see you later